This video presents a practical application of stochastic programming with recourse. It has been decided that a particular city should transform its energy consumption to green energy. To do that, two new wind farms will be constructed. For each of these wind farms, it must be decided how many windmills should be constructed. Integer variable x1, respectively x2, determines the number of windmills in wind farm 1, respectively 2. It is required that the windmills satisfy the power demand of the city given by D. The amount of power delivered by each windmill is stochastic. It depends on the direction and strength of the wind and is assumed to follow a normal distribution. It might not be the same for windmills in each of the two parks. Parameters W1, respectively W2, represents the amount of power generated from an average windmill in wind farm 1, respectively 2. There is a cost associated with buying and setting up a windmill. This cost is given by C, independently of which wind farm the windmill belongs to. A windmill has an expected lifetime, which has been taken into account in C, such that C is the per year cost of the windmill. The objective is to minimize the total costs while satisfying the power demand of the city. When the wind farms are set up, the number of windmills cannot easily be changed. Instead, as a recourse action, if the demand is not fully met by the new windmills, a set of old generators can be used to generate the remaining demand. However, using the generators will be expensive and the city will be penalized for not fully living up to the new green energy requirements. We introduce the continuous variable x3, which corresponds to the amount of electricity generated by the old generators. We also introduce parameter O as the per unit of electricity cost associated with using the generators. This also takes the monetary penalties into account. In summary, the problem has two stages, the first being to determine the number of windmills in each of the two wind farms, and the second being to determine how much electricity to generate with the old generators. We are now able to write up the stochastic programming model. The model is actually quite simple. It has a single constraint that ensures that demand is satisfied. And the objective simply sums the total costs, including that of the old generators. Because we do not have a limited number of scenarios, we can instead use simulation to generate a number of scenarios using the probability distribution of W1 and W2. To complete the stochastic programming model with recourse, we would then need to introduce a new version of x3, the recourse variable, for each of these scenarios, as well as a corresponding version of the constraint. This leaves us with this model, which we call the deterministic version of the stochastic problem. Since simulation is used, each scenario is essentially equally likely. The objective function weighs the scenarios equally. This means that the optimal objective value is the optimal average across all scenarios. The set of constraints ensures that the solution will be feasible in all scenarios. Of course, the recourse part of the solution is somewhat simple. Anytime the demand is not met, it is required that the old generators is used to deliver all of the remaining demand. Given values for C, O, D, and the parameters for the distributions of W1 and W2, one could then solve the model as a next step to find the solution that works best on average given the simulated scenarios. Of course, an approach like this has the weakness of being random in the simulation. And if a very robust solution was needed, one would probably need to simulate a very high number of scenarios. However, that is not really an issue here since we can always ensure feasibility with the recourse action.